from Blue Water VSD. Thanks for joining me as we get going with this series on Native Instruments Reactors Massive, which is one of the least understood and most powerful reactor ensembles in my view, and uh, one that you're really going to like when you start understanding how it works. But first things first, in the, in the New School series that I did, a couple people wrote in and said, hey, I don't even know where to find this thing. Could you tell me where it is? So, let, so let's start with that. Uh, I'm using Reactor 5.6, which is their most recent update. And in this version, it's under Factory Content, uh, Ensembles, New Additions, and Groove Boxes. Massive 1.1 is the version, the most up-to-date version, and the one that we'll be using in this series. Uh, this one below it, I believe, is pretty much the same. The interface looks a little bit different, but I think that's just the colors are different. Some of the snapshots may be different, but it's of, of no real consequence. So let's load this up. And what you'll find is that the default is for Massive, which is this part down here, to load with Snapper. Now Snapper is one of Reactor's song sequencers, and the reason they load together is that some of these snapshots use Snapper to move between different sounds, or, di or actually different snapshots. It's it, essentially sequencing Massive. In the teaser video that I did for this, that's what I did. I loaded a snapshot, or I loaded an ensemble, of my own creation, which I believe is BK. And you'll see here that in Snapper, these numbers tell us what snapshot we're talking about. So if I hit play, it starts on 91 here. When it gets here, it will switch over and start adding hats to the mix. So you see that's essentially what, what Snapper is used for. But to start, we're going to uh, we're not going to be using Snapper in, in at least the first two or three videos. Now before I go any further I should tell you I've posted this ensemble this uh, Massive 1.1 BK over at bluewatervst.com and if you want to go get that you can download it and follow along with these tutorials. I think it's the easiest way to go. Basically what I did is I used a snapshot called Pair, stripped it down to the elements I liked and kind of rebuilt it with some some other things that made it a little easier to understand, at least for me. So I'll be working from that ensemble, which you can download at Blue Water VST, and it's it's just underneath the video. There's a download link for it. it doesn't cost anything. Now let's go over here to Panel Sets. Uh, this Panel Sets tab is this puzzle piece, and to make this a little easier to understand, I am going to uncheck Snapper. So we are not going to be using Snapper, in, as I said, in at least the first few videos, but. In brief, what we have here is an ensemble that comprises three parts. This top part is a, a control section that has some edit mode capabilities over here that turn out to be quite powerful, a snapshot management uh, section here, and a series of four edit pages that are really central to how Massive shapes your drum sounds. Following that, there are some uh, effects outs and a main level. That's the control section. Below is the modulation section. And what this does is contains modulation data in step sequencer format. In other words, this doesn't produce any sound on its own. It basically produces uh, instructions for modulation. So if we want some, some parameter to be modulated in a particular way with, for example, very little modulation here, no modulation, and then in the next step there's high level of modulation, that's how we do this. If you're familiar with something like Sugarbytes Effectrix or any of the other kind of effects, VSTs that use modulation lanes, this will look familiar. If not, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain all of it in a video to follow. Below this uh, is the sequencer itself, which contains the actual samples and drum sounds. And you'll notice that uh, this by default is is set to 32 steps. All of this stuff can be changed. I'm going to show you how to do all of it. And we'll get going in the next video, starting with this control section and uh, moving through some very basic snapshots and then getting into the life force of, of Massive, which is really modulation and changing sounds through time. So if this seems intimidating to you, don't worry about it. We're going to break all of this down and you're going to really like what this thing can do for your music. There are a lot of really cool applications. You gotta trust me that this isn't just some weird novelty device they threw in to, to pad out Reactor's uh, ensemble selection. 
So stay with me, go to Blue Water VST, download this ensemble, and we'll get going in the next video with the control section and get going to get you making music with this very, very quickly. Take care, guys.